Raj, Arun, what are you doing? Papa, it's the kite festival. Everyone is flying kites. We are trying to make a kite, but um, our kite just won't go up in the air. Let me have a look. Boys, the sticks that you have used are very thin. The sticks of a kite support the kite's paper. They have to be strong. Thank you, Papa, for helping us. Look, Arun is flying our kite high up in the sky. That's because it now has a framework to support it. Everything needs a framework to support it. Look at this umbrella. A cloth is fitted over a framework of iron sticks to make an umbrella. Without a framework, an umbrella has no shape and no support. Papa, isn't it the same in this lantern? Yes, Raj. Now, what do you think is responsible for supporting our body and giving it its shape? Like the sticks in the kite and the umbrella. Is it our bones? Very good, Raj. The bones in our body support our body and give it its shape. Look what I have here. In cup number one, I have placed a strip of newspaper a string, a pencil and a strip of cloth. Can you tell me which of these things will stand upright in the cup? Only the pencil. Now in cup number two, I have taken the same things. A strip of newspaper, a string, a pencil and a strip of cloth. I have placed a string, a pencil, but I have taken two broomsticks and have stuck the strip of paper to one stick and the cloth to the other stick with glue. Now which are the objects standing upright? The cloth and paper strips too are standing upright. Yes, they stand upright because of the support of the sticks glued to them. Papa, does a house have a framework? Yes, it has beams and columns. What is done to strengthen beams and columns of a building? In a cement concrete building, a framework of steel rods of different thicknesses is first made as needed. Then a mixture of cement, sand, concrete and water in the right amounts is poured into this framework. This makes the columns and beams strong and they can support the building. Children, press your head, forehead, knee, arms, legs with your hands. Can you feel anything? Papa? We can feel something hard inside. It is hard because these parts have bones inside them. Our body has many bones. Do our bones also form a framework like in the kite, lantern and the umbrella? Yes, the bones in our body also form a framework 
called the skeleton. So does the mm, the skeleton give the body its shape? Yes, not only shape. The skeleton supports the body and also protects it. Children, this is what our skeleton looks like. Raj, are all the bones of the same size? No, Papa. The bones in the body are of many different shapes. Some are long, some are short. Some are thick, some thin. Some are rounded, some are flat. The bones of the thigh and the arm are long and thick. Children, observe what I am doing and follow me. Close your fist and open it. Now, observe your fingers. In how many places were you able to bend your fingers? Three places. So, each finger has three bones. Otherwise, we would not have been able to bend our fingers. Each thumb has two bones. Look at this parrot's cage. What is it made up of? Metal strips. The bones in our chest form a kind of cage that protects the soft parts in our body like the heart and the lungs. Now children, put your hands behind your backs. Can you feel a chain of bones? Press your fingers against it. Yes, Papa. The backbone is actually a chain of bones, each called a vertebra. Bones are so hard, Papa. What are they made of? Bones contain minerals like calcium and phosphorus and a fibrous substance called collagen. Papa, how many bones are there in the human body? A full-grown person's body has 206 bones. What about a little baby, Papa? How many bones would it have? There are 270 bones in a newborn baby's body. As the baby grows, some bones join together to form a single bone. Do we have a bone in our tongue, Papa? We have no bone in the tongue. Touch your outer ear. It is soft because the outer ear too has no bone. Papa, look at my friend's hand. It is in a plaster. Did he have a fall? Yes, Papa. We were playing cricket and he fell. When a person has a bad fall or when road accidents happen, people are hit on their arms, legs or head. Bones are broken or get cracks. To help them join again, they are put in a plaster. Papa, how long will he have to stay with the plaster? In a few weeks, bones get joined together as good as new. He will then be able to take off the plaster. Are the following statements true or false? The bones of the chest 
form a chain balls the backbone is a chain of bones true the bones are of different shapes and sizes true the head arms and legs are soft parts of the body false the bones of the thigh are short and thin mm, false the full grown human body contains 270 bones false Can you choose the correct option? The cloth or iron sticks of an umbrella gives it a definite shape. Iron sticks. The backbone or chest bones form a sort of cage of bones. Chest bones. The bones of the arm are long and thick or thin thick the bones contain a fibrous substance called calcium or collagen collagen a newborn baby's body has 270 or 206 bones 270 There are three or two small bones in each finger. Three. Can you write the right letters in the empty boxes? Uses of bones. Across. Shape. Down. Support. substances in bones across collagen phosphorus down calcium can you fill in the blanks the sticks of the kite dash the kite's paper support the bones form a framework called the dash skeleton the skeleton supports the body and also dash it protects the bones of the dash form a sort of cage chest the bones contain calcium and dash phosphorus dash is a fibrous substance found in bones collagen to help join broken bones they are put in a dash plaster